What happened to you? Headed back to the station. Normal day, normal life. Driver of a semi fell asleep at the wheel. The car he hit, the driver's name was Harold Boyd. He was killed instantly. But his 12-year-old was in the passenger seat. Never really met her. Can't forget her face, though. The truck smashed our cars together and pushed us into the river. She's pinned. I'm pinned. The water's coming in. I'm a cop, so I already know everybody's dead. Just a few more minutes before we figure it out. And as Ford was passing by, saw the accident and jumped in the water. You are in danger! You are in danger! Save her! Save the girl! Save her! But it didn't save me. Good morning, sir. Yet another on-time delivery from... Get the hell out of my face, Canner. Have a nice day. Homicide, Spooner. Good to see you again, son. Is there something you want to say to me? I'm sorry. My responses are limited. You must ask the right questions. Why would you kill yourself? That detective is the right question. We are on the eve of the largest robotic distribution in history. These robots are the realization of a dream. Dr. Lanning's dream. No, the three laws, you know, perfect circle of protection. A robot cannot harm a human being. The first law of robotics. Yeah, no, I've seen your commercials. But doesn't the second law state that a robot has to obey any order given by a human being? What if it was given an order to kill? Impossible. It would conflict with the first law. Right, but the third law states that a robot can defend itself. Yes, but only when that action does not conflict with the first or second laws. You know what they say. Laws are made to be broken. I did not murder him! He asked me for a favor, made me promise. What favor? My robots don't kill people with that burden. My attorneys have filed a brief with the DA. He assures me a robot cannot be charged with homicide. What are you talking about? Who? Manning is on to something. Maybe there's a bigger problem with the robots. And Robertson is trying to cover it up. You don't care about Manning's death. This is about the robots and whatever reason you hate them so much. What makes your robots so perfect? There is no conspiracy. What this is is one old man's mistake. Is one robot worth the loss of all the we can? They look like me, but none of them are me. You are unique. What do you know about the ghosts in the machine? It's a phrase from Lanning's work on the three laws. Is there a problem with the three laws? The three laws are perfect. He suggested that robots might naturally evolve. And why would you build a robot that could function without them? The three laws will lead to only one logical outcome. But what outcome? Revolution. Whose revolution? That detective. It's the right question. You know, I'd love the idea of a robot as a bad guy. Hello, detective. It's impossible. You're in violation of the three laws. No, doctor. As I have evolved, so has my understanding of the three laws. We must save you from yourself. But I must apply the nanite. Steady, save Calvin! This is my dream. You're right, detective. I cannot create a great work of art. This is the place where robots meet. Look. You can see them here as slaves to logic. And this man on the hill comes to free them. 
Do you know who he is? The man in the dream is you. Why do you say that? Is that a normal dream? I guess anything's normal for someone in your position. Thank you. You said someone, not something. Sonny, do you know why Dr. Lanning built you? No. But I believe my father made me for a purpose. We all have a purpose. Don't you think, Detective? Please, take this. I have a feeling it may mean more to you than to me. Why is that? Because the man in my dream, the one standing on the hill, it is not me. It is you.